This is Danny. Today we're going to take a look at the bathymetry and elevation tool in CDAS. It's useful because it lets you analyze and visualize your data at specific water depths. Let's take a look. So here we have a level 3 chlorophyll file opened up in CDAS. So let's open the bathymetry GUI. Pull it in the view. Right here we have the mask name which will be created. You can't edit this field. We have the color. The mask transparency, let's set it at 0.3 so it's a little more visible when I show it to you. We have the depth ranges right here, minimum and maximum. Leave those alone for the moment. And enabled in all bands, which will set it as visible in all bands if you have it checked. We have the bathymetry band, the topography band, and elevation band. And here's the names. They cannot be edited as well. So we'll create the bands and masks. And we see the bands right here. And over here, as we've seen, the mask is there. Looking in the mask manager, here's the mask. It's blue. We can toggle it on and off. We can see the mask. This is just a standard mask like any other mask in CDAS. We can edit it. And let's go ahead and set this to the continental shelf elevations. We see here our mask is along the continental shelf. If we go ahead and take a look at the topography band, the mask is on. We see the elevation values are positive here. Looking in the window there, we can see elevation are positive and they're null for the sea, for topography, for the ocean. Um, and in bathymetry, we've got the ocean elevations are negative and null over land. And that's essentially it. At this point, we now have a bathymetry mask and its associated bands. We can use the statistics tool here for statistics with the mask. We could use the band math tool if we want to make a band which contains only chlorophyll pixels at the specified water depth ranges. We could use the contour tool here if we want to create an isobath line along the U.S. continental shelf in this example. Using the layer manager, we could choose to stack the bands such that the topography or bathymetry data is displayed simultaneously with the chlorophyll. So this concludes this tutorial. For further help, please visit the CDAS website.